In this video, we will solve one problem based on circular convolution. So we need to find the circular convolution of two sequences. So what will be the formula? So I have to find out x1 of n convolution, circular convolution, x2 of n. Let me represent it as uh, x3 of n, m. Okay, x3 of m, let me represent in this way. So which is equal to summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of n the first sequence into x2 of m minus n so this is the formula so we are doing it by circular array method that's why i have drawn the concentric circles so you can just observe what you have to do so the first step we need to find out x3 of 0 right x3 of 0 you can observe that in circular convolution always remember the sequence of the two sequences should be the same length length should be same here the length you can see it is 4 here also it, it is 4 both the lengths should be same suppose they have not given this value then you have to take it as 0 because you have to make both the length of the two sequences should be the same always remember in circular convolution in order to go by formula method and all you can directly go by what circular array methods how to write this just remember i'll just uh, the first step first circular this thing x3 of 0 how to write first sequence whatever you are taking you can take this as first sequence or this as first sequence it doesn't matter okay you can try it out so first sequence this is the reference point okay this is the reference point if you want you can draw the lines otherwise you can just draw the circles okay just remember this is the reference point starting point first sequence whatever i am considering this is my first sequence this you have to write it as anti-clockwise direction remember starting from here okay anti-clockwise direction the second sequence you have to write it as what clockwise direction second sequence clockwise direction so i'll just show you how to write it the so first sequence one two three four anti-clockwise now which circle i should to choose any of any one you can choose it's uh, it can be inside one or the outer one okay so i'll take the outer one the first sequence one two three four starting from here one should i go down or up anti-clockwise right so like this so one two three four simple anti-clockwise now the second sequence you should write it as what clockwise starting from here itself two one two minus one so two i should go down two one two minus one clockwise right clockwise okay this one completed now so this is my first step always remember so I can directly write the value of this one x3 of 0 it is it is equal to what just multiply the values so corresponding line values you should multiply 1 into 2 plus 2 into minus 1 plus 3 into 2 plus 4 into 1 I get 2 minus 2 plus 6 plus 4 so it is equal to 10 right 2 to cancel so 10 so 10 is my first one next i have to go for x3 of 1 from this step always remember you have to fix the first sequence fix first sequence first sequence will be fi fixed okay that means inner circle uh, thing whatever i have written 1 2 3 4 it will be fixed so no changes in that so just observe carefully no changes 1 2 3 4 no changes second sequence remember second sequence we wrote it as clockwise now from second step this is the second step okay from second step you have to rotate this one starting from here anti-clockwise anti-clockwise remember this one so this is 2 1 2 minus 1 we wrote it in the first step now start rotating this one taking as this as reference anti-clockwise so this will be shifted to here so 2 from 2 will jump to here anti-clockwise I am rotating then minus 1 will come here 2 will come here then 1 will go there so this is how you have to do always remember okay so that means second sequence you have to keep on shifting keep on shifting means x3 of 1 means one time you have to shift and keep then x3 of 2 then again you have to shift again that I'll show you okay so second sequence you have to shift anti-clockwise remember this anti-clockwise so again the same thing write the answer of this just multiply 1 into 1 
plus 2 into 2 plus minus 1 into 3 plus 2 into 4. How much am I getting? 1 plus 4 minus 3 plus 8. So it is equal to 5 minus 3, it is 2. 2 plus 8, 10. So answer is 10. So in third one, I need to find out x3 of 2. Okay. So 1 I found out 2. Now first sequence as I said before, it will be fixed. 1, 2, 3, 4. Second sequence you have to change. Second sequence here it is uh, first shift we have done. Again you have to shift again anti-clockwise. Okay. So 2 is here. So I will shift here this one. So 2 will come here. Minus 1 will come here. 2 will go there. And 1 will go there. Shifting. Okay. You can take any references. It is fine. A anyways it will shift. You can take uh, this as a reference. You just shift to 1, 1 position. That's it. So 1, 1 position you have to keep on shifting for particular uh, x3 of 1, x3 of 2 like that. Okay. Anti-clockwise. Remember that. So I can directly find out the value of this. It is equal to multiplication 1 into 2 plus 1 into 2 again plus 2 into 3 plus 4 into minus 1. So it is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 6 minus 4. So it is equal to 6. Okay. For the last and the final one, again the same thing. Uh, first sequence as it is 1, 2, 3, 4. Second sequence, keep on shifting. One is here. You can take any as a reference. Okay, it is fine. So I will take this as a reference. One is here. Shift it here. Anti-clockwise. So one, two will come here. Minus one will go there. And two will go there. Just shifting anti-clockwise. So x3 three of 3, I have to find out. This is the last one. Since the length of the sequence is 4. So x3 three of 3. Till that you have to find out. N minus 1. Okay. Length of the sequence is 4. So 4 minus 1. Always remember. Don't get confused that uh, one uh, length of first sequence is 4, another sequence is 5. You have to make it as 5 itself. Okay, by putting 0. That's the logic. Both the sequences length should be same. So, I'll just multiply 1 into minus 1 plus uh, 2 into 2 plus 3 into 1 plus 4 into 2. So, answer will be minus 1 plus 4 plus 3 plus 8. So, it is giving me the answer as 4 minus 1, 3, 3 plus 3. 6, 6 plus 8, 14. Okay, so at last you can write the value x3 of m. Uh, the circular convolution of both the sequence will be uh, 10, 10, 6, 14. Okay.